Green flags in the air. And right away, diving into Hartburn turn. Turn one here at Charlotte. Austin Sindrick, very aggressive. Took those guys three or four wide, gained a few spots early on in that 22 car. Chase Briscoe to the inside of Ryan C here, making it three wide. Saw the 68 of Brandon Brown also trying to get a position early on here in this race. First lap. The 22 of Austin Sindrick. Mentioned right now third in the playoff standings. Hasn't won this round, but looking to advance into the round of eight. Again, four drivers will be eliminated at the end of this race. And yeah, look how many spots he's already picked up in that 22 car. He has a ton of experience. He's rolled through the field already. He and Chase Briscoe in that 98 car both picked up a lot of spots before we even made one lap. Very hard breaking zone right here. Really easy to get in trouble. Side by side through this corner is dangerous. What about going over the paint right here? The exit of this chicane. Will that get slick when it rains? Yeah, totally fine right now in the dry. I expect that when the rain falls, that red area right there will just be super, super slippery to get the power down. And here you go. Lap one complete. And the 22 of Cindric continuing to take spots. He's got to move all the way up. Harrison Burton has jumped up there to fourth. Almondinger dropped back to fifth. It's not raining. It's freaking <laughs> pouring. It's pouring, <laughs> it's pouring rain. It's changed now. That rain rain. almost hit the wall right there. He was really close to getting in the wall. They're going to have to back their pace up now. All these drivers, that, like we talked about it earlier, they've been learning how to do this. But it's completely changed now because it is absolutely pouring. How do these guys see without windshield wipers right now? I mean, we know the 10 and the 11, their windshield wipers are not working. I think the ones that are working aren't helping. Well, the, 10, the 10's losing a lot of spots right here. Why does that matter? He and Harrison Burton, they are in a tight battle. This stage in is eight to go. Harrison's up to third. Chastain right now is down to 10th. And people coming from behind hard on him. Oh, and into the wall, the 47. So now potentially an issue for Kyle Weatherman might bring the caution out here, but he's getting it back. It looks like he's going to get it back onto the asphalt. Sure enough, he will, and we stay green. This is what happened. Oh, boy, I just lost. <laughs> just, there's just no grip. I mean, it's just raining so hard. Well, he's not the other, well, the only one. Briscoe right here, he kind of gets squeezed into the corner by the 16, but then just gets on the gas. I don't know if it was the left rear getting on the curbing, but instantly Stapp spins right here coming to the start finish line. He was fifth when he spun right there. Was. Was fifth. Jeff, you bring it up. The stage is coming to a close. Gregson leading right now is a huge story when the point. Oh, the, the 19 cars in the wall over here in the infield. The nine the cars nine breaking. Off. The leader. The leader. The leader Noah Gregson spun out. just spun out. All right. Take back when I was oh, 10, 10, 10, car, wall. 10 car. Ross Chastain into the wall. His back windshield wiper is working. Haley right now is out front, and his, we know his windshield wiper doesn't work either. And remember, really what's, hard. On, what's, remember what's on the, the plate for these guys. It's a playoff berth. They're trying to continue into this round, and now we see Harrison Burton in the 20. At this point, I would say start tiptoeing. Make sure you get to the finish. Seven more laps. Points are going to be awarded. But he also could he could win this stage and get a playoff point. That would help him advance also if he gets into the next round. Yeah, but I'm coaching him the opposite right now. The finish of this stage is the goal, Jeff. I don't want you to push because you can end up like this right here. Another car heavy in the barriers, and this may bring the caution out. Tommy I'm Joe Martins is stuck in the tire barriers as we see the six. Oh, there's a couple cars in the fence over there. Ryan there's Ford. another oh, one in the wall. just dove into the fence. I think they got to throw the yellow here because Got cars sitting there. Austin yeah. Hill. Off the racetrack. Here's the 99 McLaughlin. You got more cars piling into that area. I think it's fair to say grip level's low. Yeah. The caution has come out. You see there Mills also in the five. And there's a car you don't even see in that view. Also in, the in front. Here. Yeah, look at that. There's the 61. 61. Right. Disaster. God, I, we, I've been doing this for a long time. Been in this sport for a long time. I've never seen a situation like this. I've never could imagine being a driver where you're thrown, there's so much thrown at you and you have no reference of anything. This is this is history right here that you're watching. There's just so much water on the racetrack right now. It's pulling up everywhere. We really don't know what 
where this track holds water. And it's holding water in a lot of little places, little crevices and troughs as these cars enter and exit on and off of the oval. There's troughs of water all over the place. And these guys are just hydroplaning everywhere. Oh, oh he gets in the back of Noah. And Noah around. All right, he just turned it. And into the tire right barriers. Here. Looks wow. like he's able to keep going. Oh, yeah, a couple guys coming behind you. Remember, here. these guys had some issues at Texas earlier this year. We saw, you saw the 18 car wiggle a little bit, and then he got into the back of Noah. And I, you know, listen. These conditions are tough. I mean, clearly contact. There's no no denying yeah. it. But I, I have a hard time saying that, he, you know, Riley did that on purpose. Th these conditions, guys, are really, really difficult. And they've never experienced it before. Riley's never been to this track. He's going to take the lead. Oh, oh, barely. oh goes wrecking. around. Both Both of them are wrecking. Seven. And they pile into him. The brakes. Jumping on the brakes makes it worse. Yeah, you can't touch the brakes in this situation. So contact right there. Riley came down on AJ. I mean, they're just both of them right there. Lost control. Yeah, so the seven on his own. The 18 definitely had contact from all the moment they got up here. 18 right here. Looks like there was some contact with AJ that sent him around. And yeah, then behind him. Think about trying to get slowed down <laughs> in this ring. No movement out of the 68 yet, though. This is in the, sh this is in the infield on that little short straightaway leading into turn five. Caution's out. Caution's, out. Caution's, out. Caution's out. So now the concern for the 98 is while the fuel was better because of the yellows, this may put us into overtime situation. How long will it take to get that 68 off the track? That's not what we wanted. Uh, max save here. Max save. Big max. save here. Yeah, max save. Take a look at what happened there. Drops a tire off on the right side there. Oh, oh my. man. A little bit of standing water back there. That's definitely lift clean in place. I agree with you on the fuel mileage, but also just the short run speed yeah. of AJ. Yeah. He, he, his experience, he can attack that first lap where it seems the 98 car has to work his way up to trusting the grip in, in the car. So how much faith Here's do Hurst. you have? Like at this point. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, man, I didn't see that contact. Yeah, 18. So Riley would think about this. Riley was running fifth when that happened. So he would be sitting there running fifth with an opportunity to try to make something happen on this restart. Mm -hmm. One more time around for AJ Allmendinger. Okay, give me a deep breath here. Give me a deep breath. One more good one, man. On no a dry roval. No I would say this is AJ Allmendinger's race. Oh. Pouring down rain. Nothing is guaranteed. A couple cars missing the final chicane. Maya Snyder, the 51. Clements. Gregson sideways as he goes through one. I hope the spotter's telling you the gap right now. Let A.J. Allmendinger know how much room he has. That's a great point, Steve. No 20 car it. lengths, right? 20 car lengths. Don't make your own mistake. Make him catch you. Yeah, the truth is you may not can see them, right? I mean, look at look at these conditions. You may not even know where that car is. Into five. The gap still, six car lengths. A.J. Allmendinger in front. Looking for a second win of 2020. Oh, Noah's going to miss the corner big time. Barely AJ, got a turn there. AJ clean through that turn. Clean now enough. through 9 and 10 for the final time. I'll give it clean enough, Rick. <laughs> There's the gap. Here comes the eight also. Don't forget about Daniel Hemrick back there. One mistake. We've seen it out of Chase Briscoe. Bit slow through the turn there for A.J. Allmendinger. Gregson, Hemrick, second and third. One more time. Back. No mistakes. Through the front. Chicane for A.J. Allmendinger. The gap is closed oh, the up. Eight. The eight slid the rears. The 16, A.J. Allmendinger will win at the Charlotte Roval. A.J., what did we just witness? I don't know. Um, I got to thank my, my guys, Chris Rice, Matt Collig especially. I love you, man. Uh, my wife, Tara, my mom's sitting at home. My mom just had knee surgery a couple weeks ago, so love you, mom. My dad's up in the suite staying dry, so... Um, I don't know what we just witnessed. Uh, everybody at College Racing, all the men and women, 
to finally get Ellsworth Advisors in victory lane. Uh, leaf filter gutter protection. We had the nutrient ag solutions uh, in car cam. Uh, Chris Rice stuck with me. I'm not going to lie. I was complaining the whole race. That was miserable. Crazy. Um, the 98 Chase Briscoe was doing a fantastic job. I didn't really have anything for him after a couple laps, but I knew that final restart, I was going to do everything I could. AJ, you're going to be in the boot tonight at 8 o'clock for the IMSA race. What kind of a notebook do you have for them? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I mean, that... It's they got headlights a little bit, so it's not as bad. But in the infield, with no no lights in there and the the world's biggest jumbotron blaring in, I mean you couldn't see anything. I was just guessing where the corners were. Um, you just praying that when you hit the uh, hit the puddles, you don't just go sliding off the racetrack. So uh, I just can't thank everybody at College Racing, Matt Collig, Chris Rice for listening to me complain for uh, for about however long we've been out there for. So. Uh, unbelievable.